In today's test, we're going to use the Milwaukee 2804 with all these batteries in front of us, ranging from 1.5 amp hour up to 12 amp hour. On low, we're going to use this 3 and 5 8 inch bore bit, and we're going to watch the voltage, see where it dips down to, where it's low is, and then we're going to see where it recovers. We're going to switch bits, go over to high, and we're going to use this 1 inch spade bit. We're going to drill multiple holes there, watch where it dips to, where it recovers, and kind of decide for ourselves what job we're doing and what is the best compromise in size of battery to the amount of voltage drop or power drop that we see. So you can choose exactly what battery is going to be right for your situation. Let's get after it. We're going to start off with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Didn't get too far, let's just try it again. Here's the two amp hour battery. The Milwaukee CP3. Five amp hour. Six amp hour. Eight amp hour. Nine amp hour. Twelve amp hour.
Nothing there stuck out as wow, that was surprising, but there are a few little surprises along the way if you take a look at it. What I have here is just a chart of what the starting voltage was on the three and five eighths inch bit, and then the starting voltage on the one inch bit, and then I picked out the lows and put that in there. And I had to sometimes scroll through the lows at slow speed to try to find that low point. And in some cases, obviously we're going through wood. Some of it could have been right at the end of a hole. So some of these, if they're close, I'm going to call them, you know, pretty much the same, but it definitely separated out the batteries. we would had the 1.5 amp hour and the two amp hour battery. Neither one made it through with the three and five eighths inch bit. Now, if you go back one video, we did this with the DeWalt drill and the two amp hour actually took that bit through the same piece of wood. So I'm a little surprised the two amp hour here was a no go, but they both cut at about 11.5 volts. With the one inch, I'm really surprised that the 1.5 amp hour battery still kept that going at 10.4 volts. I figured there'd be a cut out there. 14.01 volts with the 2.0 amp hour battery. Those two batteries, if you're working with something the size of a one inch spade bit, just not worth having. It would be worth moving up to something even with the weight. But light duty work, the two amp hour battery is still feasible. The CP 3.0 and XC5, these two batteries here, 21700 cells, 18650s, five amp hour batteries, been out for what seems like forever. I was surprised here. Both started out the same voltage, 20.48, and the CP3 dropped down to 14.57 on the three and five eighths inch bit, where the XC500 or 5.0 dropped down to 15.01. They're close. With that said, there's a significant difference there. Is there any difference in speed? It's probably negligible. But if you're doing normal work with that battery, we were at 20.19, so the CP3.0 recovered a little better over time and dropped down to 17.2 as it's low when we're doing the one inch spade bits. Now that's something to watch the average as you go across because the XC5.0 didn't recover as high, but dropped down to 17.1 with the one inch spade bit. There's one where this smaller battery really kind of kicked in the extra output of everything worked. It's a three amp hour battery, a little bit more compact, a lot less weight, but it, it seemed to really perform just as well, even though you know, we didn't get the super great performance on the, the larger drill. If you're gonna do that larger drill, you're not picking either one of these two batteries to do it. Here's where things kind of got a little bit spicy in my opinion, and that goes down when we put in the high output batteries. So we have the six, the eight, and the 12, and then we look at just the high demand 9.0. If we just take a look at the high demand 9.0, we started out at 20.3 volts, dropped down to 16.22 with the three and five eighths inch bit, dropped down to 17.06 with the one inch bit. That's not too far away from the 5.0. It is, but it's not. When you look at the 6, 8, and 12, we're all in the 17s as far as where they ended up. And then the 12 was actually still in the 19s when it was doing the one inch spade bit. But it's such a large battery, most people are gonna go with the six or the eight. Realistically here, the numbers are so close when it goes across, you could use either one of these, but it seems like the eight was a little bit more punchy with the larger bit where the six was a little bit more happy with the smaller bit. If that's a difference in battery cells or if that's a difference just in the wood that we were in, still close, but this nine amp hour battery to me, works well in a lot of different situations. It probably doesn't have such a high output. So when the drill, which is not a huge tool, pulls on it, it can pull that voltage down. I'm not gonna say don't buy the nine amp hour battery, it, but it would have to be seriously on sale for me to consider the nine over top of an eight. It just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, especially since we're just using a drill. If we were using something like their table saw or a miter saw or anything like that, we're gonna see a huge difference in that. And we need to probably try these out and figure out which battery is going to be best or what's gonna 
pretty much work the same in those situations. Across the board, pretty good results, somewhat of what we expected. It was uh, fairly similar in output to what the DeWalt did. I think there's a lot more here to discover and we need to move into different tools, but if you're looking at the drills, basically your CP 3.0 is great for small work. And when I say small, I'm still saying probably small to medium. Small work, you can get away with the two amp hour battery. Five is a deal or a steal if you find it on sale. If you don't care about a little bit extra weight and everything there, that 5.0 amp hour battery that's been out forever, awesome. If you want some more oomph in what you're doing and a little bit longer lasting action, six and eights are where it's at for a drill. If you're really doing super heavy duty work and wanted something you could haul around this hog of a 12 amp hour battery, and basically stay away from the nine. If you have it, it'll give you a little more than the five, but is it worth the wait? Kind of interesting to see how this all plays out. There is more to it, but from the looks of it, I think that uh, generally this is where it's gonna go. We're gonna keep on doing this on a lot of other drills and a lot of other tools as they still continue to come out. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, as always, give us a like and leave your comments below. We appreciate your time. Have a great day.